So for the rear camera, if I just take this and put it in reverse, that goes black. And then I do get some grid lines, but no picture. So this might be probably a bad camera, but we're gonna check that too. So I got a diagram pulled up of that camera system. It's only four wires. I really need to worry about a power or gram, two signal wires. Um, and somebody had already taken all the back paneling off, uh, trying to figure out what was going on with the gate and stuff. And I've got it in reverse here. And of course, no picture. And back here, I found my power and ground wires and We've got power and ground going here to this camera. And if I put it back into park, that's gonna go away. So let's go park and screen goes back to radio. Well, that actually stays on. Okay, so we've got power and ground here. Oh, there it goes, finally went off. So it's on some kind of timed power circuit apparently, but we've got good power we got good ground so let's uh see if we can get a picture to the radio with this all right so i've got the connector unplugged here and i'm just back probed in right here to the uh, green and white wire i know you're not going to be able to really see that but uh the green wire is ground the white wire is positive or signal according to our diagram here we've got video out it's white video ground it's green and on here i've just got it on a test mode i don't really know what these things mean um not that go back uh, i know there's like three different modes here tvi ahd and CVI, I don't really know what they are. I don't really care. I'm just gonna put it on something. I'm in the output right here. So we got video in, video out. And if we go up here and just, we're in neutral right now. If we just throw this in reverse, let's see, do we get, it should be like a color bar. Yep, there it was. I don't know why it is going off it kind of makes me think maybe there's something wrong with the wires i really i really don't know it it's kind of weird i can go back to neutral go back to reverse and i get the color bars for a second and then they go away I'm not real sure um this is a hard one like with the camera plugged up and um, the uh, tester on video in of course the the little backup sensors are fussing at me let's plug this back in and we got no picture up there if I plug this in here if I can get my fingers to work all right, we've got this plug back up. I still get no picture here. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually unpin the wires up here. God, that beeping's annoying. Uh, I'm gonna unpin the, the wires in the harness for the camera. That way, all I've got is the camera that goes to my tester and nothing else on the car and see if I can get a picture with it. All right, so I went and got another set of leads here. So I've got my red leads is the car side, which will be going outputting to the screen. My blue leads is going to be my input from the camera that I have just unpinned here, which oddly on this side of the connector, green is actually going to the white wire in the connector here and red is going to the green. So it's a little backwards for what you would think, but either way, I've got this set up up here where I can see it. So this thing should auto detect the picture from the camera when the camera's turned on. And then 
right now it is actually outputting a uh, color bar to the screen here. So if we just put this in to reverse, we get color bar for just a second. I don't, I'm, I don't know about that, but we never get picture here. So I'm really not sure if the color bar thing is because I'm in a wrong mode or something. Maybe I have them backwards. So let me flip my polarity and try it again. But I'm, I'm not real sure. We may have, a, I'm pretty positive we got a bad camera, but we may have something else going on. All right, test number two. I've got the, everything back there is flip flopped. So my positives are swapped with my negatives on both inputs and outputs. So let's go reverse. No color bars at all. This is still a blue screen. So I think I had my polarity right the first time, like the wiring diagram shows. It just doesn't make sense why my color bar was only there for just a split second. Let's try it again. Well, you got it just for a second again. So I'm not real sure. I think I've got an actual car camera here somewhere. I can temporarily wire in and uh, see if we can get some picture. Cause may, it may just be how this thing outputs may not be jiving with how that should be getting an input. I'm not really sure. Well, I finally got a picture here. Apparently this camera that's in this lift gate um, runs on six volts and that is not enough to uh, power my little aftermarket camera that I got here. And so I've got it just kind of, oh uh, man, yeah, it's kind of a spaghetti nest here, but this camera is getting 12 volts from this tester um, right here out of the top. I've just got some, some wires just kind of, yeah, I don't know hacky stuff right but i've got that camera powered by the tester here and then i've got <clears throat> my input here just tapped in here with um, my aftermarket camera wires here just kind of stuck down in the connectors i know sometimes you just gotta make things work but we've now proved that the car wiring to the radio is good. There's nothing wrong with it. We've got a bad camera. All right, so I went ahead and pulled off the whole thing off the trunk to basically inspect this harness and everything, make sure there is nothing weird going on. We have definitely just got a bad camera. I even unplugged this connector here. Everything looks good. There's no chewed up wires, no nothing damaged. We just got a bad camera here. So we'll see if uh, they want me to get a camera for them and replace this or not. So now I can put all this right here back together. We've proved, like I, like I said, the radio works. The wiring from here to there is good. Um, <clears throat> I also off camera got a new camera and put in the hatch back there so let's see and there we go we are working so that is it one bad camera bad unlock relay in the body control module junction smart junction box fuse box whatever you want to call that thing and a weak door lock actuator in the uh, door latch and that's it um so quite a quite a few little things wrong with this thing and nothing really you know not one thing common that broke all of it it was just multiple issues sometimes that happens so 
Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you guys later.